Hello friends! I had an idea for a scary Lolita look for an event, but it was cancelled, so I decided to test it out in this video. Keep watching to find out how I transformed into this creepy monster. I have no idea if this look is gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a try. I was inspired by Toshi Honori and Sour Girl. I love the, their use of reds in makeup and in art. One of these days I'm gonna get my ass to New York and do another collab with Toshi. I miss her so much. So I'm using another NYX foundation that I don't like as much as the photo finish one I normally use, but I wanted to use it up. I'm blending out my foundation with my silicone blender. So I'm using this BH Cosmetics Contour and Blush. I'm just gonna use the white from it as my powder. I'm using this to give myself a less natural complexion and appear more chalky, more doll-like and deathly. Now from this Morph, Morphe palette, I think these two, maybe this one. I'm gonna use like all these colors in this look. This is 35F, it's a very warm golden palette. I'm covering my neck in a bronze and gold color to cut out my face and have it stand out more for more drama. I'm gonna prime my eyes. I didn't put any concealer on because I'm gonna play off the back of looking like sickly, uh, like a broken doll, so I'm just gonna use my eye bags. Ooh! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Now I'm blending a bronze gold eyeshadow up my crease and into my eyebrow. It looks real crazy right now. I kind of look like a golden member of KISS. It'll make sense, I think, I hope. Then I'm going to emphasize my eye bags with a yellow gold from the same palette. Next I'm smearing red into my crease and into the gold and under my eyes. And now I'm applying a darker red into the crease and all over my eyelid. I'm going over it with like a lighter, pearlized white just in the center i'm gonna use these two ooh, reds from that contour palette i'm using the blush to contour and add six shading details with color i want this look to be very smudgy and not precise then i darken my eyes a little bit and go in with a white eyeliner i kind of ruined this eyeliner because i painted my lashes with it so I used up most of it and it's very chunky now, but that's okay because this is like a chunky, messy look. I'm gonna wait for that to dry and start on my lips. This lipstick I got in Japan and it's called Look Me. I thought it was called Looky and I was gonna be like, looky, 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 but it's called Look Me. Look me! Now I'm gonna let my lips chill for a minute and go to my eyelashes. So I made these crazy eyelashes out of um, a couple pairs of old ones, including the rock lash ones that I wore in my last makeup video. And I just glued them all together and then painted them with this white eyeliner. Now I'm adding the same yellow gold as I did before around my lips and blending it upwards. And I'm using a color from this, one of the first reds that I lay down in the very center of my lid. Then it's on to sparkly tears. I'm using a glitter liner from Japan, but NYX and Urban Decay sell very similar one. I'm using like the side of the brush to wipe across and then just like bringing it down in tears. I'm gonna go in with another glitter liner. This one is from Daiso. I'm so into this, I wanna wear this out. I was explaining this look to a friend of mine and how the event I was gonna wear it to was canceled and she was like, you should just save it for a date. I'm adding some white mascara and bottom lashes and now I'm ready to get changed. So this wig is from Minty Mix. It's the marshmallow 
color. I forget what the cut is called. And this dress is from the Taobao brand Angel Heart. I think it's kind of a replica of Katrina by Angelic Pretty. This headpiece is by uh, Baby Star Shine Bright. And I think it's called like Pearl Drop Princess, something like that. It's a rectangle headdress. The creme de la creme, the perfect final piece for this is white mesh contacts. I absolutely love white mesh contacts and I like want to wear them with every look. I don't think I'll be able to put them on on camera. <laughs> These lenses I got at a costume store called Malabar in Toronto. They are white and then the center is mesh. I used to own ones that were all mesh. Uh, I'll list some places in case you're not in Toronto that you can get safe white mesh contacts because I once bought a pair that was fake. It was like a solid white contact with mesh printed on it, which is really dangerous to wear. Also, these contacts are great at night, but during the day, it's really hard to see because looking through them, it makes everything a little bit lighter and blurry. It's kind of like when you get out of the shower and you see your mirror is all fogged up. Like you can still see your reflection, but the mirror is foggy. So I totally recommend these for like nighttime looks or just a photo shoot, but not for all day long wear. I'm not gonna put the other one in yet because I still need my vision to <laughs> focus the camera. Final touch, which is a little bit extra and I probably should have done it before I put my dress on. I'm gonna do colored food dye for my mouth to make it look gross. It's a haunt trick that I learned if you wanna do this. Don't swallow the food dye, just swish it around and spit it out. Now my mouth is green and gross. Ugh. Yay! <laughs> gross. And then when you're done, you can brush your teeth and it will just come off. You can have temporarily gross teeth. I hope you all enjoyed this look. Um, it's really fun. I'm really digging it. I want to do some more kind of not traditional Lolita looks. If you try out any of my Lolita looks, this one or any of my other ones or anything inspired by it, please tag them with lovely Lolita looks and I will be sure to check them out and maybe you'll be featured in a video. Until next time, stay spooky. Ooh.